Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to DCUO. I am, of course, Trex, and we're looking at the feats. We're looking at the feats for the sixth year anniversary event that's currently on test. So everything you see here is on test. It might not be what it is uh, on release because this I'm recording this like a month in ahead. But, you know, this right here will give you at least an idea of what's going on. So I looked at all the feats that I'm about to show you, and it totals out to... 320 feet points that means we get three three point twenty skill points from this event from this event three points three skill points still not enough for Brittany though because she's still missing some haha -ha, I love you though so we're gonna go through and take a look because I'm gonna show you where these feats are because they're kind of scattered a bit kind of scattered I understand why they're scattered but you're probably asked, you're, when you come in here, you're going to really question yourself, where are the feats at? So first, we're going to take a look at the bases. So first, over here in bases, we have the Exobite Earth Station. Collect one base item from the Anti-Monitor Anniversary. Which, when you complete any of the, uh, well, when you complete the intro mission, monitoring the situation, you'll get a base item. Uh, a base item box. There's also base item boxes in the vendor for 20 crowns so you can get those there as well uh and then another, then the other feat is the anti-monitor observatory which is collect 12 base items so i opened up the box from the intro mission that got me three items which by the way those three items are these i got two exobit tracking tablets and then i got this exobite tracking screen Lots of exobite stuff. Exobytes. Coming back. Next, you're going to find the next ones here in the styles. Okay? So, here in, under the iconic style, we're going to scroll all the way down. And here we are. The unifier of the antimatter universe. This is the feat. 50 points. Look at that. Three stars. Wow. Three stars. How pretty. Yeah. So this is the unifier of the antimatter universe. Collect all styles in the life shell set, which is basically this is your vendor gear. This is uh, this is your styles from the vendor. So you have to collect all of them, and you'll get a nice fifty point feat. Next is going to be in the theme styles, all the way down once again, because you know new stuff goes all the way down. Is going to be the Great Blue Hope. This is where you're going to get your blue mist aura that comes from the collections Relics of Hope. Eleven of them. So far, we haven't had. I haven't seen confirmation, anyone from the forums or even in game, about the Relics of Hope dropping from the event raid. I've only seen the Anniversary Antic collections, but so, but everyone's saying that the Relic of Hopes dropped from the raid. So, two collections that dropped from the raid, that's a whole other story I can tell you there. But, the Relics of Hope so far, I haven't seen where they drop uh, here on Test Server, and when I do, I'll of course update folks on the forums and stuff. But, uh, it's 11 collection. it's a 12-piece collection, 11 are dropped in the, uh, from the Anniversary Daily Raid, and then the 12th is sold on the vendor. Okay? And, this of course is another... 50 style. Uh, a new Lantern DLC coming, Rob Bino? No, there's no new Lantern DLC coming, at least at this moment. I don't think we're going to really see one for at least a long while. It's we, so Folks got lanterned out. And then finally, we're of course going to go in here to the seasonal, and we're going to see the rest of the anniversary events. So, first thing is the Archon Construction Obstruction. It's a cute name. Cute play on words. So, during the anniversary event, do not allow not even one of the Shadow Demons to succeed uh, on merging to create a Shadow Demon Archon. And, of course, if you've seen any of the other uh, test server videos, you know it's the small shadows that form up and make those big, giant ones. And you have to... Looks like you have to stop 11 of them, which... I haven't done on test server yet because currently as of this recording it's a bit broken we haven't gotten those fixed yet 
Next, to cooperate to eliminate during the anniversary event, you're going to help the iconic heroes and villains defeat the Quardians that are out there in the Metropolitan Zone. So you're going to, we've seen Cyborg, Giganta, Bizarro, they're all over the place. You just got to go over there and help them defeat the Quardians that they're fighting, and you just got to do it 23 times, and you'll get a feat. Archon Arkoff. Again, cute play on words. So, during the anniversary event, defeat fully formed Shadow Demon Archons uh, in the Metropolitan Anti-Monitor anti Invasion Zone, which is basically where, right over there in that corner where you see the portal. So you have to defeat 13 of these, back, of these big guys. Next, Particle Powered. This is where equipment pieces that grant you at least a total of eight antiparticles, meaning we have to wear full vendor. This is our feat of wearing full vendor gear to get particle powered, which uh, this is a guess, but I feel it's like a pretty like dead on guess. Completing this feat will allow us to get more crowns than normal in the daily raid. When you wear a, a full set of the vendor gear, you're going to get this feat, and this feat allows you to get more crowns from the daily raid. Currently, you get five, but if you wear full vendor gear, you'll get more. It's, current, it's similar to how we somewhat have it on, uh, the live, on, on the live servers with the elite gear. Or, I'm sorry, not the Divine Favor. You complete the Divine Favor feat, uh, feat, and now you get OP collections to drop from the bosses. It's kind of the same principle. Next is Shattering Expectations. Destroy all nine antimatter shards in the anti uh, the, the antimonitor is pulling into our universe in under two minutes. I let that dramatic pause sit there because, no, it just can't happen at this point. Now, true. As of this recording, the shards' health have been dropped by about 25%. I'm thinking we're going to need probably a little bit more of another 10% or so there, Chief. Because we can't do it. I've... No. It's, you just can't do it. Now, I will try it again on my better Rage character. Because right now I'm on my level 10 character. But on my... Uh, kind of in-game character who has a better use of his advanced mechanic... It could probably be done now, because I haven't really played it with that character since. But maybe it can be done in two minutes now. But so far, I, I'm just not seeing it. I am just not. So next is hold the line. Prevent all shadow demons from reaching the anti-monitor. Again, another dramatic pause. What? No. Are you serious? Are you serious? Apparently they're serial. They are just so serial. So, the hold the line, if you guys have seen the anti-monitor uh, anti boss fight, uh, the Centennial Collapse, I have that video, uh, I think I did as a level 10, so you guys can actually see how the fight goes. In the fight, I, pro I think I want to call it maybe Phase 3, he will shield up, and shadows will come, coming from the outside of the area, and come swarming to him. The objective is to drop his shield. You, we, as players, have to kill 20 before he absorbs 10. We have to prevent all shadow demons from reaching the anti-monitor. We have to stop all shadow demons from reaching the... Okay, look, this is a 25 feet, and it feels like a 50. It just feels like a 50. Hey, remember, I'm over-exaggerating. I'm on test server. You're not. You're probably watching this as the, video, as the event's now gone live. You just don't know the struggle. You just don't know. But you will. But you will. Next, time dilation. Uh, prevent the anti monitor from destroying our universe in five minutes. Ding, ding, ding. Congratulations, guys. We have a speed feat. Which, again, in five minutes, just remember, we have to stop the shards in two. The shards in two. Then we have to go into phase two and actually fight the anti monitor, get him down to a certain percentage of health, and then he'll bubble up, bring out the shadows. We have to stop the shadows, and then the shield's gonna drop again, and then we gotta get back into him for being a percentage of health in order to end the fight in five minutes. Have fun. I don't care. I'm not doing it. It's just not gonna happen. 
Shut up, roommate. <laughs> go eat. Go eat your 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 Eddie's ice cream. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> All right. Next is Shadow Slam. So we have to defeat twenty Shadow Demons in under two minutes during the Anti Monitor instance. Meaning, those <laughs> those those twenty Shadow Demons we have to defeat in that. You know, before he absorbs 10, we have to defeat 20 of them in two minutes. DPS, get on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. My God. Ugh. Just going through the fights. Is, uh, if we get that, that would be pretty awesome, though. Next is Relentless Victory. Confront and defeat the Anti-Monitor 15 times in Centennial Collapse. So there you go. You can spend. Uh, you can do this 15 days. There you go, 15 days, and you'll get a feat. And then, last but not least, we'll have the anniversary antics, which is the other collection part of this event. Which all 11 of these, I have, I know for certain, these drop from the anti monitor in the Centennial Collapse Daily Raid. 11. These 11 drop. This. Is sold on the vendor for 20 crowns. Okay? So, that's sold on the vendor. These 11 are the drops. Now, these collections, uh, not including the vendor, I'll, I'll need to get confirmation on it. These collections, along with the 11 collections from the blue for the blue aura, those, are, th those can all be sold on the broker. Those are tradable. S trade them, give them away, sell them, whatever you want to do. Have at the, go for it. And the anniversary gives the title of the Golden Age. I want this. I I want this. Normally, when I get a collection, when I get collections like this, I just give it away to my stream. I'm sorry, stream, I can't do it. I want to get this. I want to get this title first. After I get the title, I'll give whatever away. I'll just do it. But I have to have these titles. I just have to have it. So there you go. Those are all the feats pertaining to the anniversary, the six year anniversary event. And remember that this event will be coming back in 2018. So whatever you don't get this year, you'll be able to get next year. Of course, on top of the other new feats that will most likely happen, come around. So, like I said, you get three, you get three, uh, I always go with 320 feat points. All right, that's three skill points and 20 left over for as feat points. So, three skill points. Now, in the time frame that this event will be going, which is a month slash 30 days, which is slash four weeks, as maps is repeatedly said on the forums, there are, some, there are two things that you cannot complete unless you spend replay badges. Unless you spend replay badges. Everything here, all the feats, can be completed in this event without replays except for two. And those two are the particle empowered, or is it the, the particle powered, and the vendor style gear from the uh, from the life shell style. Those two feats that's sixty feet points. Those are two. Those are sixty feet points that you cannot complete in this event unless you spin replays. Reason being, as of this recording, it takes four hundred crowns to get. Uh, I'm sorry. It takes four hundred crowns. To get the full vendor gear, right? 400 crowns. You get 17 crowns daily. Actually, a week. No, I'm sorry. You get 71 crowns a week. You get 71 crowns a week. That's including the one weekly rate, the one weekly mission that gives eight. That's four dailies that give one. And then you have the daily raid that gives five. I am pretty sure. I feel like my math is off. I feel like my math is off on that, and I, I could have sworn I did that perfect. Could have did it perfect. Most likely it is off, and I just need to recollect myself, which, pause. All right, let me do the math real fast, and now I'll, actually, and now I'll continue on. So, if I get, this is all for weekly stuff. Uh, I get 5 times 7, 35, plus the 8. Plus, what is it? Uh, four or sorry, seven times four. Seven times four. Oh, I might have actually done this wrong. 
I feel like I definitely did my math wrong because you can get more than 71 a week. Because if you do the rate, if you... 4 times 7, it's 28, plus uh, 5 times 7, because that's every day at 7, okay, and then plus 8. Shit, where's cursed? Where's my mathematician? Math! Mathematician! Okay, so recalculating, because I wanted to make sure I, I did my maths right. I want to make sure I did my maths right. So we have uh, we have the weekly raid, or I'm sorry, the weekly mission that gives eight crowns. We have four daily missions that give one crown each. And then we have uh, the daily raid that gives five. So you're looking at a weekly total, a weekly total of 71 crowns. So you'll get 71 crowns every week, which in order to get four in or to spend it for the 400 crowns, you'll you'll spend about 5.63 weeks. Five point you would basically spend five and a half weeks if you don't spend replays getting the vendor gear. So, eh, that's of course right now as of this recording that we're going with. So, but um, but yeah. So, get so getting the vendor gear is kind of just you're gonna have to spend replays if you want full vendor gear, if you want it. Which of course is like a big if. It's like of course I freaking want it. That's fifty. That's sixty feet points there. It is 60. It is 60. And I can't argue that. I really can't. Even I don't like the vendor prices. I don't like having to be that. But, but I mean, remember, that's full vendor gear and only spending it on vendor gear. Not include, excuse me, not including buying the two collections. Not, not involving buying the base items. So you do have op you have to really set yourself if you don't want to spend replays at all on this mission or on this event, then you really need to focus on where you want to spend your crowns while the event's here. And what you don't get this year, it will be back next year. But talking about that kind of thing, that's for a different thing. That's for a different video. This is talking about feats. So but like I said, you get 320 feet points minus 60 of that, and that's where you're left. If because if you don't want to get your if you miss out on the vendor gear, and that's even if you're lucky within that 30 days to get all the collections, and you get those collections there uh, from the vendor, because that's going to set you back even more about not getting the vendor gear. So you got to make a choice. Which one do you want? I don't like making that choice. I'm not the one forcing it upon you, but. You know, this is what we have on this on this vendor is pretty high scale compared to any other seasonal that we've ever had. This is the 60 year anniversary. So we're making a big deal putting some big items on there. And of course, trying something new. So that's it for your uh, for your feet points. Uh, if anything changes other than that, I will be sure to update it and let you guys know. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for some more DCO action.